click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that how can we determine the percentage of carbon as well as the percentage of hydrogen in an organic compound and based on that we have also understood the formula that uh, how can we easily calculate the percentage of carbon in a particular organic compound as well as the percentage of hydrogen. So now based on that we are going to do a numerical or basically we could say that we are going to do a problem number one in this case. So now let us understand it. So here we are going to discuss about the problem number one that how can we determine the percentage of carbon and hydrogen. So the problem number one is as follows. So this is what we have. And uh, what we have is basically 0.224 gram of organic compound is what we have and which on complete combustion it gives us that is 0.126 gram of water and 0.280 gram of carbon dioxide. So on that basis we have to determine the percentage of uh, that is hydrogen as well as the percentage of carbon in the organic compound. So this is the question that we have and this is a problem and now let us find out the solution of it. So the first of all the thing that we have to do is we have to calculate the percentage of hydrogen. So it is very easy to calculate and for that we have a solution and that is as follows. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to determine the percentage of hydrogen in the organic compound. But we also know that as uh, suppose if we have 18 gram of water. So 18 gram of water it will consist of basically we know that it will consist of that is 2 gram of hydrogen. So in the given question that was being uh, provided and it uh, has uh, focused on that is uh, we have got that is 0.126 gram of water from the 0.224 gram of the organic compound. So we could easily say that is if we have that is 0.126 gram of water. So in that case we could say that uh, in that specific uh, amount of water we could get 2 into basically 0.126 divided by 18 gram of hydrogen. It's simple. So now this is the uh, weight or this is the amount of hydrogen that we have got from 0.126 gram of H2. But what we have to do is we have to calculate uh, the percentage of the hydrogen that has been present in the organic compound. So the organic compound uh, that we have, we have that is 0. Uh, 2 to 4 gram of organic compound is what we have. So this is the organic compound that we have and we have to determine the percentage of it. So obviously we to calculate the percentage of it, it is very easy and uh, what we are going to do is it is a very simple process that is uh, the calculation is very simple that is uh, this much amount of hydrogen that is what we have got from 0.126 gram of uh, H2. But this much amount of hydrogen is what we have got from the organic compound also. So that is the reason that we could say that is the calculation could be done in such a way that 0 0.224 uh, gram of organic compound will consist of uh, 2 into 0 0.126 divided by 18 gram of hydrogen. But since we have to determine the percentage of uh, the hydrogen, obviously we could say that is 2 into 0 0.126 divided by 18 into that is the total amount of the organic compound that we have is basically 0 0.224 and what we have to do is we have to multiply it by 100. So this is the normal thing that we have did over here as well as we have also did uh, the uh, formula that how can we directly uh, input the uh, given data in the uh, formula and we will get the percentage of hydrogen but this is how we have theoretically we have got to know that how can we calculate the percentage of hydrogen so now let us calculate this thing and let us understand that what is the percentage of hydrogen that we have got over here so the percentage that we have got is basically 6.25 percentage of hydrogen is what we have got over here so this was the first data that we have calculated but now let us understand that how can we determine the percentage of carbon so the next thing is that is we have to determine the percentage of carbon in the organic compound and as we know that we have discussed in our uh, previous lecture also that is how can we determine the percentage of carbon then in that case we have got to know that uh, carbon uh, to uh, estimate the percentage of carbon obviously we have to calculate that how much gram of carbon dioxide has been produced during a particular combustion reaction. So we will get to know that is uh, if we have 44 gram of uh, carbon dioxide then in that case basically we could get that is 12 gram of carbon.
but what we have is we have uh, a uh, uh, problem in that case basically that they have given that is we have 0 0.280 gram of carbon dioxide that has been produced so therefore we could say that is 0 0.280 gram of carbon dioxide that will produce a cross multiplication that is what we have to do that is 12 into 0 0.280 divided by 44 gram of carbon is what we will get if we have 0 0.280 gram of carbon dioxide. So this is what we have but uh, also we have to determine the percentage of the carbon in the organic compound and uh, we could also say that is the uh, organic compound that, that what we have is basically 0 0.224 gram of uh, the organic compound obviously we could also say that uh, 0 0.224 gram of the organic compound it will consist of 12 into 0 0.280 divided by 44 gram of carbon in it. So what we have to do is we have to determine the percentage of carbon. So it is a very simple process. That is the percentage of carbon can be easily calculated if uh, we have uh, that is uh, 12 into 0 0.280 divided by 44 into that is uh, the total amount of the organic compound that we have is 0 0.224. And what we have to do because we have to calculate the percentage we will multiply it by 100. So the percentage of carbon that has been found in basically in 0 0.224 gram of uh, organic compound it has been found to be that is 34.09 percentage of carbon that is what we have got over here. So in this case we could easily calculate the percentage of carbon and hydrogen and that is it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood that how can you calculate the percentage of hydrogen as well as carbon in the organic compound by doing uh, a such a theoretical uh, calculation as well as we can also input this kind of data in the formula so that we could get uh, the percentage of carbon and hydrogen very easily. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood uh, this concept very clearly and I hope you will share this video with your friends. So don't forget to subscribe to e channel. Thank you so much.